Ding, ding, ding! Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. My name is Justin, aka YouTuber097, and today we're at the Jakarta International Airport. Right now, as you can see over there, we're actually parking in the parking lot right here. And you guys might wonder right now, what are you doing? in an airport you're not going abroad you're not going anywhere with plane involved but today i am going to be receiving the package for my jordan horizon which i've been wanting for so so long because this jordan right here has felt really special to me because the design like everything that was involved in the designing of the horizon and stuff you know it's gonna be really really sick and stuff and my dad is gonna be going there to pick it up so currently i'm in the car because you if you want to get into the cargo um there must only be one person and that person must had um like like an authenticator what is it like the uh authorization yeah uh so basically my dad's gonna be uh going in the cargo and he's gonna pick up the jordan horizon to me and i think i'm gonna meet you guys soon at home when i get the package so we can unbox it we can review it and yeah guys uh i'm gonna be giving away more reviews to you guys because it's really really sick right here and uh Right guys, so we are back from the airport and now we're at home to get a review uh, to the item I really want to show you guys. So first, uh, I did a disclaimer, I already opened up the box here just to see if I got trolled or not. And it seems like I didn't get trolled whatsoever, so I can start off the review. I haven't checked out like the condition and stuff like that, so it's still brand new in box, uh, BNID I believe. So I also taken off like the private information here and stuff. Uh, this is really cool. I ordered these through EMS. If you guys don't know, that's like a pretty cool uh, mail service from international uh, places, which is pretty cool. So um, without further ado, I guess we don't need to show you guys the box uh, that it came with. Uh, I just want to show you guys what we have in this box is a Jordan Horizon. I'm very, very excited. Three, two, one, bam! There you go, guys. We have a Jordan box right here. This is going to be really sick. This is, by the way, my first pair of Jordan. I never had a, a pair of Jordan before. I already have a pair of Nikes. Uh, those are like for gym, like trainers, for flexes. It's called the Flex TR4s. And I also have a older Nike uh, skateboard, the SB. <laughs> so I'm unboxing this with one hand. All right, so there you go, guys. That is the Jordan box. It's it's really, really cool here, guys, which I'm gonna explain later on. And in the box, there is nothing else. There is no bubble wrap whatsoever, but I don't really care. Let's move that to the side and I'll show you guys the unboxing experience if you got one of these Jordans. All right, so these are the 2015, 2016, 2017 box of the newest Jordan models, except the Jordan 1s, the Jordan uh, 12s, I believe. The, the special edition ones are different colors uh, and different scheme of the box and the Dons as well. So as you can tell over here has here 10.5 Jordan Horizon and there you go. Let me show you guys uh, what size I am into this. So I'm currently size 44.5 uh, in the shoes. Uh, my actual size is actually 43, but I ordered these in 44.5, so um, I can use two socks uh, until like I'm 18 years old, and then pretty much it'll fit me just perfectly. I think so, uh, because I don't wanna like waste my money on just like buying shoes that is my size, and after like two, three years, I can't wear them anymore because uh, the size uh, is increasing, so yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, in UK, this is 9.5, 28.5 centimeter, and 12.5. These also the US size, the 10.5. Jordan Horizon, I ordered these, if you guys don't know, I ordered these on a hyper turquoise, which actually looks super cool. 23 right there, uh, Michael Jordan's number. And there's pretty much just a Jordan logo there, and nothing else is here. All right, guys, so 
First, let me show you guys the bottom. I think there is like a writing or something. Oh, yeah. It has a certification and the uh, uh, Nike logo. So it has uh, air features on the shoes. Has their Jumpman uh, Nike Corporation one. This is basically like where it was produced. And these are the Chinese certification. Uh, now people might say that these are fakes, but these are actually authentic with these Chinese thing. Because this, again, uh, Jordan nowadays they're made uh, in China. Even Yeezys or Air Mags and stuff, they're still made in China. Uh, the reason being is because uh, Nike had opened up like the biggest company ever in China. So pretty much almost every of their product is made in China. And they're also authentic guys. Um, so here's like the certification in Chinese. You can use Google Translate for that. I purchased these via eBay. So I have 30 days money back warranty. These are not authentic, which I need to check it out later on. Um, I've seen the seller's feedback and my camera is not focusing here. Okay, there you go. The seller's feedback is really, really good. Uh, almost like, I don't know, 15,000 sold and a lot of pos uh, positive feedback. So I think I'm trusted uh, with the seller right here. So without further ado, let's go and unbox this. And boom, as you can tell over there, we do have 23. As I told you guys, Michael Jordan's number is 23 with these plastic um, kind of coverings. Open them up and as you can see there, bam, we do have this awesome Jordan Horizon. All right guys, so here, is the Jordan 1 Horizon, the Jordan Horizon, sorry, it's not a Jordan 1 Horizon, what the hell am I talking here? My first pair of J's, there you go guys, my first pair of J's, all right, these are very cool. I already get these out from the box, so as you can tell there, it's not, it's no longer factory laces because I wanna see that Jordan logo right there, pretty cool. But just to show you guys the unboxing experience, if you got one of these. All right, so as you can tell, we have a pair, of course, that's already for sure, because it's pretty, pretty sick. And there's nothing else in the box, probably just like some silica gel and stuff. Nothing really important for that. So let's get the box out of the way and let's review the shoes. All right, so there you go, guys. That is the Jordan uh, Horizon Hyper Turquoise. So I'm gonna be talking about like the materials and design manufacturing for every each of these so as you can see over here this jordan is retail for a hundred fifty dollars usually on ebay they cost like if in indonesia they cost like 2.6 million uh 2.4 million for these uh here 2.4 million rupiah uh, but sometimes if you purchase these via ebay you will get like the shipping tax and stuff which i ended up getting these for 3.1 so basically guys as you can see um, the material goes in these is really really uh, premium which I'm gonna be showing you guys in a while now so as you can see no longer factory lace the reason being is already like uh, taken off like the laces over here in the inside so I can see that Jumpman logo just want to make sure like everything's good and stuff you know what I mean like pretty cool so first things first about this colorway is this is really bright. Uh, now I know you guys are not seeing this personally at real life. This is just like a video, but in real life, uh, this actually is, uh, is better looking than you see on the video. Uh, first, I want to show you guys the design. So over here, as you can see in the pattern, if I can zoom in really quickly. As you can see, these are uh, a combination of these uh, cyan, uh, like, I don't know what these is called. I think these are called the neon blues. The neon blues, uh, like the turquoise color, uh, is mixed with the gray fabric here. So that's really cool. These are all made of fabric. They're really cool. And the upper here, these are like the ceiling of the shoes. These are made of genie and leather. So as I told you guys, mixed of material. In the bottom here, we do have, I think, Nike Air in them because uh, they showed it in the box previously. It has Nike Air technology and stuff, and these feel great, dude. And in the bottom is rubber and other combination of materials. So here, as you can tell, we do have the Jumpman logo over there. The Jumpman logo is really sick, it's down there. And again, with the attention to detail, the inside of the 
uh, Chopman logo, we do have fabric coverings, also with these uh, carbon fiber look uh, material here, but those are not carbon fiber. Um, over here, it looks like the Jordan 13. If you guys know shoes or sneakers, uh, the bottom will be like Jordan 13. These are just rubbers. Uh, these are like compressed rubbers and stuff, which looks like the other uh, Jumpman sneakers. Uh, these are used to like balance if you're playing basketball and stuff. Uh, this you'll find these in Jordan 13s, Jordan. I think uh, pretty much like all for the basketball shoes, like the Jordan 11. So yeah, these are like they're cool technology and stuff. All right, in the bottom you see here, this is like tracking. I don't know what this is used for, but these are look like, uh, these are for heels made, or for like pretty much stabilizing every time you step in when you're using the shoes. It looks really sick. And the only uh, way you can find out whether these are Jordan or not is to look at the front. We got the Jumpman logo. Jumpman 23 logo is in the front. It's no longer placed here or, uh, like the lows and the futures, but they only have it in the front, see? Uh, this is what I really like as well because it doesn't like shows the Jumpman logo everywhere else, which actually in my opinion doesn't look that great. Uh, and it only shows it in the front and the tongue of the shoes himself, which is really sick. All right, right now guys, there is a cardboard box in here, which I wanna show you guys another cool feature. If you're purchasing a Jumpman 23, you always get these right here. And I want to show you guys how to determine between these are original or fakes most of the time. It has a Jordan logo there. You see that we have a Jordan logo as well at the cardboard box. Also, you got these. Make sure you got everything uh, I showed you guys in the video to determine whether it's uh, fake or original. Authentic, I mean. Let's take these off as well from the other pair. So yeah. So here, every time you purchase an authentic pair of these Jordan Horizons, you do have these serial codes and at the tongue. You see here, real quick, let me show you guys. This is the Jordan. Um, so as you can tell, the, it shows you the size. And here, it shows you the date it was made here. Uh, which is pretty cool. These are... Uh, Day two. No, this is actually uh, two. Uh, those are April. Uh, so it's two April 2016. It says here 11 uh, uh, month 10 2015. And here also has the serial code uh, to determine whether it's actually fake or real. And everything must be in this font as I showed you guys. And these are pretty much like the UPC code and stuff. You can go to your Nike, your local Nike store to actually check out your UPC codes and they're gonna be like uh, showing you whether it's original or fake, which I did that later on, I guess, I'm gonna do that. And then, in the bottom, all right, inside the sole, as you can see, we do have that Jordan symbol, Jumpman 23 logo right there. We do have also the certification, which usually was placed in the bottom, but however, for these models, they put it inside uh, and already like took it off and it doesn't really work, so whatever, you know what I mean, like it's there. These are carpeted, so you guys really wanna make sure that you do not make these dirty because these are, again, carpet, uh, so I think it'll be hard for you to actually get some dirt off from the sole themselves, so. I think that's what you want to do. Also guys, um, if you bought some of these, I highly suggest you guys to get uh, a crap protect. If you guys don't know what crap protect is, it's basically like the number one um, shoes protection uh, like in the world, I guess. Uh, it's I think it's like eight to $10, I think. A quite, quite um, good price in my opinion to actually take care of your shoes and stuff. So that's the inside there. Again, I show you guys that I already try them on, so it kind of looks dirty there. But I just want to show you guys like the brand new look of it. I mean, and then here the laces. Now, what I do here, the factory laces, as you can see, is already tied and stuff. But I want to get one off, so again, it, you have a better look. See, then these has a stretch models, and when you 
uh, you, and you can also have more spaces with also the Jumpman 23 logo when you're using it. Pretty cool. Uh, same goes with the other um, shoes. Uh, I want to make sure that all of these is the same with these and make sure they're not sample because there is a lot of sample for these Jordan Horizons which actually has a better uh, feel to it, better, better material, but again, uh, those are not for sale, the samples are not for sale again, uh, so if you've uh, caught some samples, go ahead and tell eBay that those are not authentic pairs. Alright, so that's, I think that's uh, what you guys need to consider right here. And as you can see, same goes in the inside, um, cool materials that goes in here. You see that these are also fabric. Most of these are made of fabric because they're like one of the best materials for high tops uh, that make it really comfortable. And then, yeah, the pattern is my favorite. The bottom is also really, really cool in my opinion and stuff, you know what I mean? And then the Jump Band 23 logo. The laces here is basically braided cables. If you, if you know what I'm saying, here it is our braided cables, which are usually put into like gaming mices, gaming keyboards. Uh, they have the same here braided. Everything is braided. And if you see here the attention to detail, everything is really good. And here's another way to actually determine whether these are fake or real, is basically to look at their pattern. Make sure that everything is perfect like that right there. See, like if you see again, everything here looks really cool. And you wanna like look at every each pattern if they're the same as these pattern over here. And as I see over here, everything is really similar and stuff so you can already know that these are original. And some people told that if you have these, you are fake, but that is actually a false information. Now, as you can see over here, uh, if you look at Nike.com, they also have these lining, as you can tell over here. Uh, see, in the leather lining, like there's a little like grid. Uh, these are still authentic pairs, um, but yeah, as you can see in Nike.com, you have these as well. So uh, I already, I already like asked the Nike person whether these are original or fakes, but th they say that these are just like to cover up all the leather and stuff because they have no more spaces. So every each model was like this. So just for some information for you guys. And again, uh, if you guys have some complaint, you can go ahead and ask me in the comment section below to ask some questions about it. Now, as you can see as well at, at these, you do have some pattern that is kind of off. You see here, like there's a little bit off in the top. This is not fake, but this is basically like, um, as you can tell there, there is like a little bit off in the top. Uh, these are actually, I, I think these are like the air, air pump in here, as you can tell that it feels really good. I already asked the Nike person, they said that every each model also have these off uh, thingy in the, in the top. Uh, those are basically just like, uh, those are not dent, they're just like, uh, since the price of these are not that expensive, they don't have like the crazy attention to detail, like the Yeezy and stuff. I already asked that as well to the Nike person to make sure these are 1 billion percent authentic and they said authentic and I asked about these, they say that again, they like have some mistake because again, no one in this world is perfect, especially uh, shoes, like my friend had NMDs and stuff, they also have like a little bit of the off uh, in the grid and stuff like that, you know what I mean, like um, it's, it's like some human errors and stuff, I'm not really sure but I just I already asked these for a lot of hip person and they say that these are uh, original, they're not fake, they're authentic, so yeah. So I think that's everything for this video, again, uh, I will rate the shoes from 1 to 10, okay, let's see, I'm gonna give 8.5 out of 10. Now, all right, I already give you guys all the reviews. Now time to show you guys the advantages and disadvantages for this shoes. Again, I'm being honest right here. I'm not uh, like lying to you guys about everything. So here it is guys. So first for the advantages, uh, you guys already know the design. The design and the material is really premium leather. These are genuine leather. Um, these are, I believe, the leather that you kind of use on other premium bags, such as Yves Saint Laurent, etc., etc. 
and then these are the fabric which most of the Jordan used. Uh, the pattern is really sick. You see they're really simple design, futuristic and luxurious in my opinion. That's what I really like. So the advantages is that it looks really cool and nice. The bottom, simple design. Second, it's really comfortable. I know you guys can't wear these shoes uh, right now because this is just a video, but if you bought them and no, I think you guys can just go to the store and try to use these and they felt super comfortable with especially again all the design and there's one more thing that I really from really like from these is that you do not need to wear any socks whatsoever you can just like slide your feet in here because they have like these materials I've told you guys these are really comfortable oh my god those are crazy comfy uh, so you don't need any socks to put here uh, and then um, another advantage is that I really like from these is that these has uh, a good performance if you're playing basketball. I know I'm not a big basketball player but you can already tell that I got a lot of feedback in the Nike.com that that actually plays really good and stuff you know what I mean because you see the bottom it's already like war already you know what I mean like it's high uh, again uh, next advantage is these are my personal opinion another high advantage is that these right here it covers up your whole um, leg which actually I really like because these are high tops again as I told you guys as long as large as these right there uh, I like high tops because they cover up like your uh, shoe I like cover up your um, leg which actually looks which which actually is more comfortable than low top a uh, low low shoes uh, I have low shoes like um, as I told you guys, my Nike flexes, uh, some bunch of Crocs and stuff like that. You mean, but they don't feel com as comfortable as these. You see. Again, that's another advantage, in my opinion. But I know you guys might don't like high tops because they're kind of hot and stuff. <laughs> because again, yeah, I, it's kind of hot. What I mean by hot is um, your feet will get warm in just like five minutes. But again, um, I think that's your personal opinion, whether you like high top or low tops. And uh, I think the last advantage is, is the material. Yeah, I, the material is really premium. And you cannot like have other good materials than these kind of Jordan Horizon. I, I know there's like the premium ones uh, that has a better material on it, but the price is five million, which is like $350. And I don't think that's worth it for Jordan Horizons. In that case, you'll be looking at some crazy good NMDs. I'm not a big fan of low tops. I like high tops like these. Now, here's some budget, uh, some budget disadvantages from this shoe. So again, um, if you don't like high tops, these shoes get you really warm, especially if you're in like a hot country, a hot, uh, like warm countries right here. Ca country, I mean. So as you can tell, it's really bright outside. Uh, if you're wearing these, you will feel very warm and you'll get some sweat on your feet. I think that's the, the first disadvantages. And other than that, I think it's already really, really good. Um, I think another disadvantage is, as I told you guys, like all the, some of the materials here is kind of off. But that's just, that's just like crazy attention to detail because when you wear these, you don't even feel that because you need to actually like zoom in like that to actually see whether it's kind of like a little bit off in the pattern. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's it, and that's for the disadvantages. All right, so yeah, that is for the Jordan Horizon. Uh, right now, we're gonna be showing you guys the on feet look, which I'm gonna be back at just a second. So here it is, guys. Uh, right now, I'm actually wearing the Jordan Horizon. Okay. Here you go, guys. Those are the really cool Jordan Horizons over there on my 